how's everybody doing Marty with everyday XJ so I've been getting a lot of comments from a lot of people watching the videos especially the ones related to the trailer wiring harness that Hopkins used to produce for the Jeep and you know a lot of people are just they really want that part and I got some bad news Hopkins completely stopped making that part they made every piece of that uh, wiring harness kit for your trailer lights in-house now they still have one part which is the uh oh, what do they call it the converter you can still buy that from hopkins or the thing's like 15 dollars. but you got to do all the wiring and stuff like that which that's kind of sucks i get it a lot of you guys are like me you don't like doing wiring or cutting into a factory harness at all so here is the plug from a Jeep Cherokee from a 91 to 96. Now, what this does, this part here comes from the factory wiring harness, and this one right here connects the tailgate wiring harness like such. Okay? Just like this. Now, I have been on the computer for the last four days. I've contacted Jeep. I have sent pictures of this connector, measurements of every part of it, to every automotive connector supplier in the United States that I could possibly find on Google. They had all come back and said this connector has been discontinued or do not make it anymore. So what I'm trying to do is I'm actually also trying to find anything with an 8-pin flat connector or a, that will fit in this, I guess you can call it like a three quarter inch by one inch long connector anything that I can get to work uh, so I can make this plug in house and get it to you guys yeah that's right I'm trying to make something similar to what Hopkins had uh, I, like I said I've even talked to Hopkins and asked them if they had some kind of schematics or a patent that expired that I could p possibly purchase <laughs> I'm just asking questions of these people trying to get some kind of answer or get some kind of ideas how I can go about uh, I guess you'd say reverse engineering what they've already done. Uh, and I know it, it, some people are just like, just wired into the, you know, the tail light or do whatever, yada, yada. I get it, man. But some people, one, they don't have the skill. Two, it intimidates them. And three, they just want plug and play. You know, there's a need for it. So I was like, hey, why not? Um, if I can ever achieve that goal, the cost, who knows? Hopkins said that they would sell me the converter at a bulk price of at least a hundred at a discount And then the price would go up from there depending on what I got to do with the connector and the time I've got invested in or whatever But it's something I'm still trying to work on and I'm not making a whole lot of progress. So I Just want to touch base with you guys and let you know I am working on it That's about all I can do now the only other thing that I can tell you guys is you just have to figure out, watch a YouTube video on how other guys are doing it. I know it's a pain in the butt and it sucks, but if you really need trailer lights, it's about all you got, man. And uh, so hopefully I'll have another XJ here shortly. I'm looking at a 91 XJ, or is it 91? Might be a 92 XJ Laredo. I mean, this thing is mint. It's not been fooled with. It's got good floors. It's got a new paint job. It's got beautiful maroon leather interior. It is sweet. And I'm really hoping I can get it. Because the dumbest thing I've ever done in a long time is get rid of my XJs. So uh, I'm really looking forward to making some more content for you guys. Uh, channel might be going a couple different places here for too long. Once I get settled with a few health issues. Um, but yeah. But anyways. Just want to touch base with you guys and let you know I ain't forgot about you and uh, trying to get this problem solved. So I'll see you all later. Thanks for all the subscribers and I appreciate y'all sticking with me. See ya.